In November 2016, the Lagos State Government unveiled the Code Lagos Initiative with the aim of making coding education system reachable to every student in Lagos State. This is to enable them harness the benefits of technology and communicate in the language of the future. By teaching these future leaders to code, the Lagos State Government believes it is preparing them to develop logical reasoning problem-solving and design thinking, among other attributes. Therefore, the Code Lagos Initiative is expected to run in all public and private schools in the state, from the primary level to the tertiary institutions. Consequently, to kickstart the laudable project, the Lagos State Ministry of Education organized the Code Lagos Stakeholders Forum for School Alumni Association in Lagos State. Our aim is to teach Million negotiations, most especially our youth, have to go by the year 2019. And we are soliciting for your support and setting up coding centers in all the schools. Ahead of the launch of the Code Lagos Initiative, the Lagos State Government is setting up 500 coding centers in public and private schools as well as setting up the Lagos State Digital Library, the first of its kind in Africa. So from primary 4 to primary 5 to primary 6, you will have gone through a level of the coding framework. So by the time you leave the primary school setting, you have some basic skills in your hand. By the time you get to the secondary school, from GSS1 all the way to SS3, you're also going through a coding framework that takes you through. So you can imagine a student that leaves school, secondary school, with all that skills. We are guaranteed that the he or she has skills to succeed and skills to do well. One of the things we're also trying to do, we're going to do is to ensure that we get the right people and ensure that our girls' schools are well taken care of, our special schools are also well taken care of. So ultimately, what we're trying to do is to carry all the emotions, whether male, female, ethnicity doesn't matter to us, but ensure that we give everybody enough skills to succeed in the 21st century. The stakeholders' forum was interactive in nature. Well, I'm actually saying acknowledging what you're doing, we appreciate it so much because it's necessary at this time. Then we will say to you, we want to be on board. When can we start off? Because we have some of these things on ground already. From the feedback we've gotten, we think we'll do more than 500 centers by the end of the year. But we'll be kicking off Code Lagos with a facilitator training. We're going to train facilitators in March this month. The portal is open. We're going to train them this month. So come April um, 20 something, we're not comfortable. The date will let you know. But we're launching Code Lagos in April this year and we hope to launch it with a minimum of 350 centers. Challenges with the e libraries that we discovered that over time those systems were damaged. Now that Lagos State is bringing the coding Lagos into it, what are the modalities that is being put in place to ensure that some of those infrastructure that will be coming up will remain and is sustainable? Code Lagos will run from Monday through to Friday, you know, throughout the term. So that means that those facilities will be used. And one of the things we're doing, because we know that the numbers will grow exponentially, how do we manage it to answer your questions? That's, there's a private sector element in Code Lagos. The schools are going to be broken into clusters and outsourced to private sector organizations to manage them. In my school, we have all the facilities on ground, and we have two computer laboratories already. Does it mean we're going to set up another laboratory room, I mean, by the gold girls? And then how do we put this into the curriculum we are running already? If you have a center in place, you don't have to build a new center. If you decide to make it bigger, because for us, the bigger the center, the better, so more students can have access. What we want to achieve is to ensure that everybody that goes to a school has the skill. You know, so if you can make the center bigger, why not? Education Report on TV spoke to those present at the occasion and the law that the Code Lagos Initiative of the Lagos State Government. I think it's a beautiful pro uh, pro uh, program and I see it working. I tell you, when you look at the level of decadence in, the, um, in our secondary schools today, it has come at the right time. I think it has come at the right time and it will change so many things. 
for good. Quality assurance is part of this particular initiative because it's about standard. It's about how our children can be more creative in their thinking. It's about how they can write their own apps, how they can write their own games. And not only that, you will see that it actually develops the confidence of the children, of all the students, because we're talking of children in the primary school. We're talking of students in our secondary schools and also universities. So definitely it's a brilliant initiative that is actually going to have um, a positive impact on all other curriculum areas. Presently, the Code Lagos Initiative is attracting high-level partnerships from corporate organizations who have confirmed their commitment to set up centers and by the year 2019, it is believed that one million Lagosians will learn how to code.